A groundbreaking today for the University of South Alabama's newest medical facility. The state has been facing a rural health crisis. And as WKRG News 5's Asher Red explains, part of the goal in building this facility at the University of South Alabama is to address that crisis. Yeah, and with much of Alabama's population coming from rural areas, Governor Kay Ivey and USA President Joe Bonner agree that this new facility could help bring some doctors into those areas. What I'm most proud of is that so many graduates are not only from Alabama, but they choose to stay in Alabama post-graduation. Ivey says that of the 3,000 physicians produced by the University of South Alabama, 90% of them have stayed in Alabama. That's a statistic I like to see. The new 250,000 square foot Frederick P. Whidden College of Medicine building will allow for the expansion from 80 to 100 first year medical students. It will be capable of holding 120 students in the future. The building will double the size of the university's healthcare education and research facilities to 500,000 square feet. University President Joe Bonner confronts the rural health care crisis head on. There's very few other medical schools in the nation that provide more providers, train more providers that go out and actually practice medicine in rural America. The city, county, state and other donors pitched in to fund the $200 million facility. Dr. John Maramont is the dean of the Whidden College of Medicine and he says the university provides $100 million per year in uncompensated care, a figure he says will only increase with the new facility. This whole region, city, should be proud of this day. Construction is expected to last three years, and once that's done, the old building will be gutted and demolished to make way for a parking lot. In Mobile, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5.